But actually half this lot could by the end of the night be candidates, they just don't know it yet, all right? <laughs> and whether you come along here as a committed UKIPper, that's great. If you come along here and you're open-minded, that's great. If you come along here absolutely determined to hate me, well, that's great as well, really. Yeah. And we're not, you know, we are not. Um, the European yes. nation, beginning and end, far from it. You know, when I worked um, in the city and the phone rang, and it might be Paris and it might be Frankfurt, but it may well be Santiago or Singapore. And, and we need to have a future uh, for, Brit for British business and industry that is global, not European. And I think EU membership inhibits us from doing that. Give people, give people the opportunity to express an opinion, and you know, we would strongly urge people to vote for a relationship with Europe based on trade, friendship, cooperation, be good next door neighbours, do all of that stuff, but not be governed by Mr. Van Rompuy, not have the flag, not have the anthem, and have a, and have a parliament, and have general elections that really matter, because all the big things that affect every business up in A and Amersham High Street will be decided by British law, not by European. Yeah. Uh, when did you see the major events that have shaped, shaped you so far? Come disaster, mostly. Disaster? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Eating disaster. What was the, what's your biggest disaster? <laughs> well, the plane crash wasn't bad, was it? Yeah. I mean, that was pretty good as far as disasters go. Yeah. Uh, I, had, I had a very major road traffic accident as well when I smashed the smithereens. Um, serious life-threatening illness. I've had a few disasters. Yeah. I think maybe. The things that go badly in life that, um, that shape you more than things that go well in life. I think we've done remarkably well here in that. I mean, we've been picking up district council seats over the last couple of years. Um, if you look at the by, and I, I remember being here in Amersham for a district council by-election here about two and a half years ago. You know, we got 30% of the vote. We weren't quite that. We, we've now started to win in Bucks, and we showed that in Bucks County Council elections too. Um, <coughs> So I think even, even before HS2 really became the issue that it has, uh, we were starting to make some headway. Yeah. Um, uh, now I think there is a realisation uh, that on top of the fact that many, many folk here agree with some of our policies anyway, but the only way to get HS2 stopped is if parties think they'll lose parliamentary seats next year, um, then I think we're in a very strong position. Yeah. I think this party actually is now standing up and saying, on a whole host of issues, the things that actually many of you think and say to yourselves at home and to your friends. Um, but I just wonder, with this great audience that we have here tonight, uh, just a little, little, little bit, of, um, bit of exercise for you. Uh, can I have a hands up uh, from those of you in the audience that are not members of UKIP? Hands up those of you who are not members of UKIP. <laughs> Right, well, by my reckoning, that's about 60% of the room. So if you lock that door at the back there, please. But to those of you that have come along tonight with an open mind and who determine to leave here tonight, have you made your minds up that we are a horse worth backing? Then I would say this to you. Don't just walk away and do nothing. Please play your part in helping us to help you. Now, this is a volunteer rebel army. We are taking on a rotten establishment in this country, and all of you can do something. All of you can give us a couple of bob. All of you can take a few leaflets and give to your friends. All of you can put a poster up in the run-up to the European elections, or local elections, or whatever it may be. You know, all it takes for evil to prosper is for good men and women to do nothing. So I'm going to ask you, and I'm going to get to that door as you leave and look you in the eye. I am. <laughs> I've got the heavies with me as well. <laughs> Folks, I'm going to say this to you. We can change our country if those of us that agree are determined to do something about it. Please, please, help me. Help the team. Let's do something about it. Let's get back our birthright. Let's get back what our grandparents and great-grandparents actually sacrificed lives for in two world wars, so that we could be a free country and make sure we can hand that legacy down to our children and grandchildren. Isn't that worth fighting for? Thank you.